Do you play online roulette? Of course you do. Yeah! 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 Sit back, grab a double double, get comfy and cuddle up to your screen. Cause I'm about to drop a knowledge bomb on you. Hey guys, it's Eric here with CanadaCasino.ca. Today, we bring you the best three strategies for improving an online roulette. But before jumping straight into it, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. One of the most well-known and used roulette strategies is the Martingale. The theory behind this is simple. After each loss, increase your wager. Then when you win, you get back your lost money and then return to your original betting amount. For the roulette pros out there, you should be wagering on even money bets that come with a two to one payout, like even odd, red black, and one to 18, 19 to 36. Let's say you start with a loony fixed bet. If you lose, you double your initial bet to a toony. For each loss, you continue to double your bet. When you eventually win the wager, you go back to your initial loony bet and start all over again. With this system, you will in theory be able to recover your lost wagers and get small winnings, but it has two issues. First, you need to have a decent bankroll to cover your losses until you hit a win. If you start playing with a loony wager, you will need to have more than a grand bankroll after 10 losses. Second, mind the maximum bet at your table. Depending on your wager, you might reach the maximum without getting back your losses. So when using this strategy, make sure to use it wisely. Promise me that you won't do anything stupid. Another popular technique is the lavish shared strategy, also known as the cancellation system or the split martingale. Like the martingale, it works using even bets and is best with two to one payouts, but it involves more calculations. You'll need a pen and paper for this one. First, you gotta do your homework. Let's say you wanna win 100 bucks. With a tender minimum bet, write 10 tenders in a row. Then follow these three principal rules when playing. Each time you bet, add the first and last numbers, resulting in $20 in this case. If you win, cross out the first and last numbers. If you lose, add a new number to the right of the sequence with the amount you lost. Repeat the process until you cross out all of the numbers and you will win a hundred bucks. Of course, not everything is perfect with this strategy, as it has the same limitations as the original Martingale. Remember, if you have an unlucky run, you may need a huge bankroll to cover your losses and would have to depend on the maximum betting cap. Make sure to head on over to our website at canadacasino.ca if you want to find out more about the different strategies, tips, and tricks about online roulette. And the last one today, the Fibonacci betting system. Just like the previous strategies, only use this technique when the odds of winning are 50%. You'll be needing a paper for this one too. However, this time around, you'll need to write down the Fibonacci sequence starting from 1 till 34. You'll get these numbers by simply adding the sum of the previous two numbers. If it sounds complicated, don't worry. Here's how it goes. Each number works as a multiplier for your initial wager. So if you start on a tenor bet and your sequence is 8, your bet will be 80 bucks. In a nutshell, this strategy instructs you to decide the amount of the bet and start with the lowest number in the sequence. If you win, move two positions to the left. If you lose, move one position to the right. Then repeat this process until you're out of the sequence from the left-hand side. Again, the same issue as before applies here as well. Be sure to have a stable bankroll. I'd like to clarify that these strategies cannot guarantee you any winnings but are simply a more systematic way of approaching the game. In the long run, remember that the house edge will always catch up to you, unless you get lucky and leave the table at the right time. Be sure to have a clear objective, time, and money limit, and always play responsibly. So that was our take on the three best strategies to improve your online roulette game. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. Then leave a like and slam that big red subscribe button. This has been Eric. Good luck out there and happy spinning.